Welcome to The Ashburton. I'm Ronnie Dahl, and this is our epic adventure throughout the heart of the Pilbara, from the coast to the centre of the Hamilton Ranges. Until it's actually charging again. Uh, charging? No. Oh, you unplugged it. Yeah. Sure. Charging? No. Charging? No. Got a bit of an issue with our charge. The trailer hasn't been charging for a few days. Just noticed. It pays to stop and check every now and then. Uh, we just noticed it was low last night. We got to camp and. I just asked Dylan to have a look and it's not charging. We've got a lot of corrosion on here. <laughs> I reckon it should have got a I'm just trying to scratch it off. Alright, let us know if it charges now. Charging. Nicely. Yeah. Back on the road, we've got one more stop in Karajini before we leave Karajini National Park behind. That is the Oski Roadhouse, which is also called Munchena. Munchena Road, Oski Roadhouse. Mun yeah, Munchena Roadhouse. The same area. Oski Roadhouse near Munchena Gorge. Yeah. We're going to catch up with the locals there, the, uh, the owners, Craig and Sue, get some good roadhouse meals when we get there, some trucky meals, fill our guts up before we head off back into country to some epic campsites uh, out towards George River. Um, a couple of places out there that are pretty cool. Is that where to swim? Yep. Well, hopefully we can actually cross the river crossings because normally they're half a metre deep. There's three of them. No, uh, part consecutive. Roadhouses in Australia are a big deal, especially iconic ones like the Oski Roadhouse, where we are right now. We are quickly catching up with the new managers to hear what's in store for Oski Roadhouse in the future. And of course, a cheeky Oski burger. Mm -mm. Here's Sue and Craig. We've been here for about four months now, um, tried to bring Oski back to the well known place that it is um, by refreshing making things a lot better, spending some money on it and bringing it up to where it needs to be. Oski being such an icon that it is, or has been over the years, it's really dropped off a little bit, so we really want to promote it and, um, and bring it back. Um, it's been a great experience so far in the last four months. Sue and I are here for long term. I'd say within the next 12, 18 months, everybody will notice a big change with Oski mm. and they'll, you know, it'll once again be the, the word on everybody's mouth. Oh, we just want it to be a good experience for our tourists and, and our truckies, our regulars that we have in all the time. Um, we're starting to get a lot of good feedback from them, so it's working what we're doing. Get exactly what they expect, friendly, warm atmosphere. And good food. <laughs> our great Oski Burger's got a good name, it's known around the place. Uh, most of the truckies come in for the Oski Burgers. Yeah, so, yeah it's great. Warning, the following scenes may cause hunger.
Get your flame grilled Oski burger. The burgers are better than Oski burgers. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Nothing beats local knowledge. Caught up with a fella called Gaiden. He's giving us some good directions for shortcuts, but also some long cuts that take in the scenery. Camp arrival will definitely be after nightfall. We worked out where we're going. We're going to a place called George River, uh, which ends up at George Gorge. So we've got the local information. We've, we've just worked it out how to get there. So still learning how to use this new Overlander Garmin thing which so far has been bloody good I gotta say I'm glad I forked out money for this unit um, doesn't, look like we, doesn't look like we've got that far to go um, cool and we're back on the dirt roads A while since we left Oski Roadhouse, gone through some beautiful backcountry here. We're driving past a lot of mine sites, but um, the Hamilton Range is also through here. It's outside the Karajini National Park, and it's pretty damn epic the scenery we're seeing here. We now hit the Rio Tinto rail line. It's an access road for maintenance along the rail line. Now you need a permit to travel this road, which is pretty easy to get. All we could do is go online and get it. So any travelers, this is a good shortcut. Otherwise you've got to go all the way up and do a six hour round trip on the highway. Whereas you can use this access, access road and go through some beautiful country, which is exactly what we're gonna do. Now we've got about 100 kilometers of road that we're gonna do for this. And our permits, which we obtained 10 days ago, last for 30 days. So let's follow this rail line and we'll get to Millstream Chichester National Park. campsite we went to no longer exists so we're pushing on to George River which thankfully is only like 5k's from our missing campsite so we'll be at camp very soon because the first crossing is only one kilometer in on George River and uh, that'll be nice to actually wake up to some water in the morning because it is still 33 degrees depending on how, how high that water is yeah, that, that, that too. We don't have a very good track record so far on camping next to rivers. So even though we can't see a storm around here, it may still rise. Oh yeah, there's a track. 
Well, it's a rather late arrival, as always, but we were up at, well, I don't know, before 5 a.m. this morning, so getting to camp at 9 p.m. is a bit tiring. Um, now, we would have been here earlier, but like I said earlier, that other campsite was not to be. But here we are. So we are basically just going to roll the swags out for a couple of hours, get up in the morning, have some brekkie, and then start our mill stream adventure on the way to George River. Our first crossing is right here. You can probably hear the frogs in the background. Um, so that is the first thing we're going to tackle to tomorrow. Now I think everyone's going to bed, but I'm still going to cook some chicken tonight because I'm starving. All right. To be continued, the next two episodes are very full drive and adventure based. I think you'll love them. They were certainly my favourite parts of the whole trip. Stay tuned. Until next time.